beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Let's see if we can't do something a little bit more biblical than political on this Sunday in September 2021. What do you think? We can see this is the Old Testament, and on chapter 1 is called Genesis. The name of this book is Genesis. And we know that in this book, the Bible, that the signs of Jesus Christ's second coming will be like in the days of Noah. So let's find Noah. We can find him in chapter 5. And in chapter 6, his story continues. And in the days of Noah, there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. We can read down a little bit further and it says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great on was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So in those days there was more than one species. There was man and giants, at least two species of uh, humanoids. Giants possibly being the fallen angels, the Ephilim, right? And we can also see that uh, the man's mind was continuously on evil. Everything that they thought about was evil. We also uh -huh. want to, okay, so if, if Jesus Christ's second coming is like the days of Noah, it's kind of hard to see the comparison there right there because the, we have been told that Noah is lives in rock stone age time, right? With no technology, just the bare basic fire, maybe the wheel, maybe a little bit of copper smelting, but basically stone type of uh, tools, and very crude metalwork, right? But we don't know that. The earth was flooded and everything was destroyed. It was start afresh and anew. And if it started afresh and anew, then yes, it would start with a stone age from that point after the flood. Think of it now. If we had all the technology right now and we had a flood that flooded the whole world for 90 days and nothing survived would day one when Noah got back on the ground on dry ground and opened up the doors and walked back out the doors would that society start back off with technology or would they start from day one trying to figure out how to start fires, how to build the wheel again, how to relearn how to smelt copper and metals and move technologically forward again to like the days we are now? Can you kind of comprehend how that's possible? That maybe because no man was alive during Noah. And we've only got six pages talking about the days before Noah with not much detail but yet we want to in our minds think that it was the most crudest basic caveman mentality back then and if people were into caveman kept, uh, type of mentality the only thing that they're worried about is surviving Food, water, and shelter, and mating. Like all other animals on the earth. If your mind is full of evil, and your imagination is of evil, then you've got technology and time on your hands because you've been able to figure out how to gather more than enough food, more than enough shelter. Your mind is more advanced thinking about other things than just trying to eat and survive, yes? In the days of Noah. Yeah? Now let's go look at the first book of the New Testament. And that is Matthew. The first book, the first book in the New Testament, Matthew. And this is where we're going to find. exactly what we're talking about Matthew 24 37 
But as the days of Noah were, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in those days there were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also be the coming of the Son of Man be. And we can see right here that it says, like in the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. Does that sound like a caveman mentality where they're drinking? What do they drink in water? Or have they advanced enough to be able to uh, have spirits and alcohol? And, and what's so big a deal about eating and drinking and marrying? What's so big deal about that? Well, it's saying right there they've got more than enough food and they've got more than enough drink and they're marrying and having a great time in life and caring nothing else about except for evil thoughts. That's all they want is evil thought that was evil thoughts in their head at that time. Right? Just like in the days of Noah. I don't believe in the days of Noah uh, caveman and when it was just rocks and stuff like that, that they married each other. When it was the caveman mentality, did they just go and steal wives and take wives like this? This is how the Native Americans and all cultures that do not have a do not have Jesus Christ in their life, that's what would happen to survive. You were other hunters and gatherers. And when you need women to continue populating your tribe, you went over and conquered another tribe and stole their women. You evilly killed somebody and stole their women. That's how things were done back then. In the caveman era. But in the Noah era, they were drinking eating and marrying they were legally marrying yeah okay now it's really kind of funny i it was a i believe in the new testament there is only two bible verses that have chapter 24 38 for in those days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. 2438. On a beautiful page, one, two, three, four. We'll just coincidentally go look at a couple different things. So what do you guys say? So Matthew chapter 24, 38. Our first Bible study talking about the days of Noah. Let's go look at QDOP 24. 38 just for giggles to see if this is a biblical journey we are on would you look at this there is a picture on QDOP 2438 that was taken in Rainbow California by me Gregory Hamilton in Rainbow California the sign that God gave after the Noah's flood was a rainbow to the world to show that he would never flood the earth again. This picture happens to be taken by me in Rainbow, California. 2438. Matthew 2438. For in those days they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. Until the day Jesus Christ came, they had no clue, they were ignorant, and they played only within politics, and me, 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 me. Can we get the cue drop one, two, three, four in time? I know that it has nothing to do with it, but hey, what the heck, it looks nice, don't it? Q drop one, two, three, four. Thank you, Q. We are essential threat to the establishment, trusting the plan. One 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 oh my goodness one 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 